Aries, what is going on with you? Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Aries love reading. I'm so sorry it has been so long since I've done the last reading for you. These past three months has been a freaking nightmare. I probably should have just made a video about that explaining it so I didn't have to say it at the beginning of all 12 signs. But it's it's been one thing after the other. Ended up having to go to court, not because I was in trouble, but because I had to go testify in somebody else's court case. That was a freaking nightmare. It's just been one thing after the next, but I, I don't want to talk about it. I want to just get right on with your reading because it has been long enough. Let's take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest here in October 2023. To do that, I'm going to get one card to represent the mutual point of interest between the two of you here in October. Then I'm going to get three cards for your energy in this connection, Aries. Three cards for your person to represent their energy in this connection. And then I'm going to clarify all of it with the second deck. Just to make sure we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. So let's get on with this Aries October 2023 love reading. What is the mutual point of interest between Aries and their romantic person of interest in October 2023, please? Okay, <clears throat> man, I will be honest with you, when I was doing the pre-shuffling before I started the camera, just trying to get the decks cleared out and set my intentions for getting accurate information for you, the cards like constantly did not want to go together. That usually means we got somebody that's blocking something or somebody who's like uh, not being cooperative, so to speak. I also had the tower flip over and show itself to me, so starting off with judgment here what is going on with aries as it relates to their romantic person of interest and the connection between them here in october 2023 please all the cards trying to separate on me here that's a sign that there's a lot going on there you go what's going on with your person aries what's going on with aries romantic person of interest as it relates to aries and the connection between two of them here in october 2023 please Let's see if one flipped here that's all funny nope. Let's get one more what is going on with aries romantic person of interest october 2023 okay all right on the bottom of the deck the overall energy of this reading is the two of wands. This is Aries energy. Twos are about decisions. They're about choices. This is a decision point in relation to desire. Like what is it that you want? What is the, what is it you want your world to be like? And which of these two paths is going to lead you to that? But you can't go down two different paths at the same time. You can't turn left and right at the same time. And you also can't keep switching back and forth between paths. You have to actually pick one and stick with it. And that means you have to leave another path behind. So this is some sort of a, a decision point for you. It's like a crossroads. It's a fork in the road. It's a decision point about what is it that you want your worlds to be like and how do you get there from here. Under that, I have the Four of Swords. This is Libra energy. Fours are about stability. So this would be the stability of the mind or stabilizing the mind, stabilizing the thoughts, trying to calm yourself down. This is about choosing to go inside yourself to calm yourself down so you can think, so you can figure out what to do moving forward from here. Another reference to a choice, a decision, the Two of Cups. This is an emotional decision. This can represent an emotional, emotional connection between two people, a relationship. This can represent a decision about a relationship or a choice in a relationship or even a choice between more than one person. Who am I going to be in a relationship with? Can be any of those types of things I'm, I'm seeing choice hammered all over the place here so that's the overall energy the kind of like the gist of what it looks like this is going to talk to me about we'll probably come back to that more as we go along this mutual point of interest is shared energy that affects both of you in some way here in october 2023 aries and the mutual point of interest is judgment now i do want to say this doesn't always affect you both exactly the same way. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a case of they did this and now you're feeling the consequences of it. Sometimes, or vice versa even. Sometimes it's a case that they did or said something and now you're feeling or acting this way. Vice versa even. 
this is energy that's affecting you both and it's judgment which is again another reference to a decision this is the major arcana version of that this is a powerful decision in a love or relationship reading this is almost always a decision about the relationship itself are we going to call it dead and over with or can we resurrect this can we bring it back to life bring it back from the grave and then transform it in a way that it's never going to be the same way again so let's clarify this see what we're dealing with here Tell me more about judgment, please. What is this to nature of point of interest between Aries and the romantic person of interest in October 2023? Okay. Yeah, you probably just saw me turn a card right side up. I don't read reversals, so whenever one comes out upside down, I just instinctively turn it right side up. I normally don't even notice I did it, but I noticed it that time, so I figured I would save any of the haters in the comments to the trouble i don't read reversals so <clears throat> bottom of the deck the devil this is capricorn's major arcana card this is heavy toxic energy this is obsession addiction this is a feeling of being trapped by something feeling like i can't escape from something like something external to me has control of me or even something inside of me has control of me this is Sometimes this is an element of a person's shadow, like a, a piece of themselves that they don't like, that they don't want you to see, that they don't want to see themselves, they don't want anybody else to see it. Usually it's something that someone's in denial about, something that's kind of under the surface, that's actually running the show, something unconscious that maybe they're not aware of it, and if they are, they certainly haven't done any of the work required to face this and deal with it. So we got something toxic brewing here. Now, this can also represent in a love reading, like these are the same two people from the lover's card. So this can represent a distorted connection where I'm in this connection that I feel the power of it. I feel the pull of it. I feel like I can't escape from it. I'm almost chained to this connection. Like it's usually very toxic driven though. Right behind this devil, we have the star. This is the Aquarius major arcana card. This is a card of healing it's a card of hope it's a card of wish fulfillment sometimes in a love reading this can indicate that one of you believes the other one is the one for me like this is the gift from the universe for me but again it's that concept is below the the toxicity of it here this distorted energy it's the thing about the devil energy it's distorted energy so if you're in a relationship with a person who has distorted energy by default, the relationship itself is going to be distorted. I, I see a lot of people get this whole divine connection, divine counterparts, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine. They get all that confused. The lover's card, they get it all mm, blurred up and, and not quite accurately represented. This this is the toxic side of all of that. This is this is the distorted energy. It can't be divine that way. So this this isn't this could be the hope that we have this toxic thing that we can heal and that we can get past but if this is someone thinking oh this person is the one for me because i feel the pull of it take a closer look though yeah king of swords right below that this is either aquarius or gemini energy this is the, the very logical rational decision maker this is the represents the conscious mind the thoughts someone who sees everything that's going on around them and is aware of the facts when this person makes decisions they're emotionally detached so they don't consult their emotions when they decide things they look at the facts the truth of the matter what's right in front of me what can i see for myself and verify that i know is true and i'm going to decide based on that and that alone i don't care how you feel about it i don't care how i feel about it i'm not going to let that stuff get involved in my decision now, this can also be a person, if this isn't you thinking that way, this can be a person who's thinking that way. This can be someone who probably seems very cold and emotionally distant, maybe even like cold and calculated. <clears throat> but we definitely have a decision, like and here we're getting a decision-making energy here. But before that, something else in control. Th this already looks like someone who has these unconscious urges and desires that are really kind of like on autopilot in the background and whether they see it or not they're well i think they do see it because this is this would be like trying to rationalize what i'm doing like justify what i'm doing like come up with explanations to explain what i'm doing here 
but we have some sort of a judgment either being passed and calling this over with, or we have some sort of a decision that needs made about whether or not we are calling this dead and over with, or whether we're going to try and save this and bring it back. To clarify judgment, I got the five of cups, the three of pentacles, temperance. Five of cups is Scorpio energy. Fives are conflict or change. This would be an emotional conflict, an emotional change. This is really a like sadness and remorse about the past. At its core, this card is about whatever a person focuses on, wherever they place their focus is going to dictate to them the emotions they experience. And this is about feeling negative, lower vibrational emotions, bad feelings, negative feelings because of where a person's focus is. Here they're focused on the past and they're feeling what they felt in the past. They're focused on the loss of something and they're feeling that loss. They're focused on something that they think is missing in their life. So they're feeling that gap in their life. This is it's like sadness, remorse, regrets, depression. There, there's still two upright cups in the background right behind this person, like the two of cups, which we've seen already here. There's some decision related to a connection here. I'll be damned if I didn't go far enough. The very next card is that same five of cups. And here again, there's that two cups still present. There's still a connection here, but it doesn't have all of the focus right now. There has been some sort of an emotional loss tied to that connection. Right under that is the moon. Fear, worry, anxiety. This is Pisces energy. This is this is usually uncertainty. Like I can't see the full path in front of me. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to be going. I don't know if I'm on the right path or was this even the right path to begin with? Should I turn around and go back? What should I do? I don't know. And that level of uncertainty is causing like stress and anxiety and worry and fear. It can also represent something being hidden in the dark as in something going on that you don't know about a secret being kept, some illusion being presented to you, like some deception happening. Can represent any of that stuff but this five of cups this telling me there's sadness and remorse in this connection here someone probably did something either made a judgment on this connection and, and now is having second thoughts or a judgment was made in this connection and now there's sadness tied to what that decision was central to the clarifiers here i have the three of pentacles capricorn energy of teamwork and collaboration and working together is equals to build something of value the thing you would be building of value here is the ten of pentacles like the maximum stability and abundance and prosperity the the stable home life that we all want where no one wants for anything and everything's taken care of like ten of pentacles is like the combining together of two people and two families and their lives and their assets and resources and blending lives together in the physical world so that's what there was this energy here of working toward that together and that's still central to this lined up by judgment so this is looking like a judgment on that idea of us building this together building a life together and now i have temperance here like i said this this can represent resurrection like it's either dead and over or we're going to try to resurrect it this can also be reconciliation type energy in tarot water represents love and emotions and here the water the love has been separated into two different cups and this angel is recombining it back together like recombining the love blending the two different things back together into one again so this can represent that we have some decision to make here about reconciliation this is also an energy of patience and taking things nice and slow and not being in a hurry or a rush and like blending things together little bits at a time not all at once and being able to like take a step back and look at how is this working out and coming in and making some fine-tuning adjustments to it and not not trying to do it too fast so it can represent either of those things that is the shared energy affecting both of you here in October 2023, Aries. Let's take a look at your energy in this connection. You got the Chariot, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. So we've got some progressing energy here coming up for you. Start with this Chariot. This is the Cancer Major Arcana card. This is the fastest moving energy in the deck most of the time. I say most of the time. It's because the driver doesn't have reins to control this. So... He uses just sheer will alone to power this thing, to steer it. And 
if the driver is not fully in alignment, if all parts of himself aren't pulling in the same direction, this thing doesn't go anywhere. It's every bit as stuck as the hanged man. Or worse yet, it can it can go somewhere, but those two parts pull in opposite directions and it tears itself in half as it tries to move forward. But at its core, this card is about forward movement. It's about overcoming obstacles, overcoming challenges, using your will and exerting your will to get past the challenges and move forward successfully and victoriously very fast. <clears throat> Let's clarify this chariot. Why is that the first card for Aries here in October 2023? A person's first card is always their most important card. Now, just because it's showing up the first on your side doesn't necessarily mean it's your energy. It happens all the time where, where the person I'm reading for his first card ends up actually being this person's energy and it's showing up over here first because it's affecting them so strongly. We'll have to see. Let's get one more card here on the chariot. Thank you. Okay. On the bottom of the deck... Eight of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. This is very fast forward moving energy too. It's the second fastest energy in the deck. We're clarifying the fastest energy in the deck, the Chariot. So we got a lot of fast movement happening here. This is, this is either rapid forward movement and progress on something that there's like passion and desire for. It can represent rapid back and forth passionate communications. It can represent travel. A lot of times, though, for me, this will represent a lot coming at you all at one time. Like this overwhelming amount of energy hitting you all at once where it's just too much to deal with. It's too much to handle. You can't process it all at once. It's like trying to take a drink of water out of a fire hose or something. It's, it's just too much. Either we got a serious case of like holding the gas pedal all the way to the floor and then slamming on the brakes or we're... we're totally overwhelmed with something that's happened something that requires being overcome here and it happened very very quickly and it put the brakes on everything it could be either of those two the hanged man is the pisces energy i kind of referred to here when i was telling you that this is either the fastest energy in the deck or it's every bit as stuck as the hanged man this is progress being halted no forward movement happening things being at a dead standstill and Eight of Cups right behind that. Pisces energy of detachment. This is detaching emotionally or even detaching physically and physically walking away. The person in the card is walking away from eight full cups of love. And they're doing that because they think there's something better out there for them. Sometimes this ends up being a person who has that whole grass is greener on the other side of the fence syndrome going on where they got to go find out is there something better out there i think there might be so i got to go check and find out sometimes this is a case of you coming to an understanding based on the fact that this either moved really really fast and then it stopped completely or something happened that was overwhelming and that happened very quickly and it stopped everything but this might be telling you that it's time for you to detach because this person is only capable of giving you eight cups. That's the best that they're ever going to be able to give you, which means you won't get your ninth cup, your own personal happiness and your wish fulfillment from this person. You won't get your ten of cups from this person, that happily ever after that we all dream about because they're not capable of going that far. They're only capable of getting to the eight. Come on. This looks like a case of emotionally detaching, probably physically walking away and having regrets about it and not being fully committed to doing that. And then under that with the star, the Aquarius major arcana card again, still having this feeling like this person might be the one for me. And at the very least, having the hope that this can be healed. This is also card 17 of the major arcana card 16, the one before that is the tower so you don't ever make it to the star energy without going through a tower moment of some kind first where some important structure in your life comes crashing down all around you whether that's a relationship or a belief system like this mental model of the world you're operating from and something happens to change like the way you thought it was and now it's suddenly not that way anymore and it's like ah like this is the guiding light from the universe that shows up after something like that happens. It's like the, the thing that lights the way for you so you can see your path moving forward. It's literally where hope and healing both come from. 
So this is either you walked away and are still trying to maintain the hope that it can be healed or they walked away from you and there's still this there. But regardless, the part of the energy of the chariot is that will to overcome something. When I clarify the chariot, I get the five of swords, the emperor, and the ten of wands. Five of Swords is more Aquarius energy. I feel like I've said Aquarius quite a few times here. Let's see, I've got Cancer, got a little bit of Aries, Sagittarius again, Pisces a couple of times, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Fire Sign, Sagittarius again, some Taurus out here, a little bit more Pisces. You could be dealing with any of those signs. You could literally be dealing with any sign. This is a collective reading. So it's going to be almost impossible for me to tap into exactly who you are dealing with as an individual person. Because I'm not tapping into your specific energy as an individual person right now. Like I would if I were doing a personal reading for you. I'm tapping into collective energy of thousands of Aries people all at once. So I'm just going to call out all the signs that kind of prominently stick out to me as we go on that way in case they mean anything to you but this is aquarius energy five of swords again it's a five it's a conflict this is usually a big fight like bitter words being spoken words being used like weapons tongues being used like swords to cut each other this is like someone with a winning at all cost mentality like i'm gonna get what i want and it doesn't matter how you feel or what happens to you for that matter as long as i get what i want that's all i care about this would be like betrayal this would be like someone stabbing you in the back or stacking a situation in their favor where you're going to lose no matter what happens this is at its core it's like a mentally and psychologically painful situation or event so there's something like that a big fight or a betrayal of some kind that needs overcome here and it looks like we have someone setting some boundaries here and probably making things a little difficult <clears throat> this is aries energy the emperor this is a card of taking charge of a situation, taking control of the situation. So it can be about putting up barriers and boundaries, like making the rules, laying down the law. This is the way it's going to be. It can also be that energy of someone who knows exactly what they want and they have all the tools and resources to put together a plan to get what they want and then execute that plan to get what they want. Sometimes this energy can go sideways and go from being about being in control to being very controlling and like, dictator emperor from ancient rome type thing here <clears throat> we've either got some painful situation that someone has caused here and they're in charge of all of it it looks like there's still a burden tied to this this ten of wands is sagittarius energy of a heavy burden being carried here so this is either aries you're burdened by some painful thing and this need to overcome it or at least this will to overcome it still some decision about that some major decision about that it looks like about reconciling central for your energy in october 2023 aries ace of pentacles this is a new beginning this is some practical tangible physical real world opportunity presenting itself to you it is an ace though and like all aces you have to do the work on this you have to like put in the time effort and energy with this or it's just empty potential. We do have some new opportunity, some physical opportunity presenting itself here. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is that central for Aries energy in October 2023? Can you? On the bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. Scorpio energy. This is the card of the past. It's thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past, thinking about the good old days and the way things used to be. It can represent that there is a lot of history between the two of you. This can even represent that someone from the past is trying to make a comeback. I see decision here. Possibly, can we resurrect this? I have regrets about this. We were building something together. Can we like recombine that? Can we have reconciliation here there's a will to overcome it but a lot of pain looks like directly attached either to your person or a lot of pain that you have personally experienced and are still burdened by it could actually be both of those things at the same time but there is an opportunity with someone from the past 
or an opportunity is presenting itself that with someone you've got history with is what it looks like. Oh, I'm just noticing something else central to your person's energy is that emperor card. So very possible that we're talking about them that you're trying to get back with or they're coming back around presenting you with an opportunity to do so under that. We have the Queen of Cups. This is Cancer Energy. This is a lot of love and emotions that you're feeling for this person. But there is history here. There is a past here. So that makes perfect sense. Based on what I'm seeing, it also makes perfect sense that there's some stuff from the past that you would probably rather not have a repeat of. The Queen of Cups is the only character in the deck that has a lid on top of her cup, and she does that as a way to protect her emotions from getting contaminated. She doesn't want anything getting in her emotions and causing her emotional pain. So she's kind of really guarding her own emotions. But what she really wants to do is take the lid off of that cup and pour her love and emotions into someone here. And I think there's an element of the past that's probably making that the nostalgia of it and making you want to do that pour your love into them more but then there is also that oh i got some stuff in my cup in the past from this person and now i've got this eight of swords energy here this gemini energy of being stuck in my head about it and thinking about it over and over on this repeating loop in your mind and grinding on it to where you just you're thinking it constantly and just looping through it this is like not wanting to make a mistake but feeling like i can't see everything around me and i don't really know what the safe step to take is here so i'm just gonna think it through and simulate it in my mind over and over again and i'm feeling stuck and trapped and blocked because i can't see everything and because i don't know what to do and that's why i feel like i need to grind on it so i don't mess anything up so i don't make a mistake and do the wrong thing here yeah <laughs> sadness and remorse about past so two references right here to the past yeah and then we're back to this two of wands which is the overall energy of the reading that fork in the road for you that decision point for you this is a crossroads here and you have to pick a path you have an opportunity presenting itself clarifying that ace of pentacles that physical opportunity nine of cups the world six of wands Nine of Cups is Pisces energy. This is a singles energy. This is a card of wish fulfillment. That This is like personal wish fulfillment. Personal happiness and wish fulfillment. It's about being emotionally happy and content in and of yourself. And not needing an external person to make you whole. Not needing an external person to quote love you. To make you feel good. To make you feel like you're a whole person. This is about being okay with yourself emotionally. This can also take a skewed version of this too because this can easily turn into a person who's very self-centered and very, it's all about me, myself, and I. Like they can be smug. They can be much more concerned with their own personal happiness and wish fulfillment than, for example, what's best for our relationship or what's best for you or us. And it's like, it could be, you know, someone who has an alcohol problem, someone who is very self-indulgent overindulgent on some things i do have that sitting directly next to this five of swords this mentally and psychologically painful thing this fight this betrayal <laughs> it could also be that you have an opportunity presenting itself to you and your wish fulfillment would be for this opportunity to pan out and not have to redo this pain to have like an ending to one cycle in the beginning of the next cycle this is the world the final card of the major arcana this is a card of completion it's about completing a cycle and at the same time beginning the next beautiful cycle in terms of zodiac signs it represents the four fixed signs leo taurus aquarius scorpio it's almost like it would be my wish fulfillment for all this pain stuff the, the way that it was to end and for us to be able to start this over again. It also kind of appears that this person has got their hand in whether or not this cycle ends and starts a different way. Of the Six of Wands next, this is Leo energy. This is a card of recognition. It's a card of forward movement. In terms of recognition, that would be like 
Sometimes you're getting recognized for something like publicly recognized. More often than not, though, it's going to be a case of you coming to some sort of a recognition and the thing you're recognizing allows forward movement to happen for you. We do have you moving away here from some sort of a burden that you've been carrying. Now, hopefully this is telling me that you get some new physical opportunity present itself to you that can lead to your wish fulfillment but in order to get to that you may have to put an end to one cycle to in order to start that new cycle you may have to step into your aries energy and draw the line in the sand and say this sorry this is the way it's going to be so you can move forward successfully and out of this burden here i'm hoping that's it final card in your energy aries two of pentacles this is capricorn energy again it's a two it's a choice it's a decision this is a decision where you've got these two things and you're weighing the options here. You're looking at the pros and the cons, asking questions like, do I or don't I? Should I or shouldn't I? If we're talking about a judgment here in this connection, can we resurrect this or is it dead and over with? Mm, which is it? Will we put it back together or not? Or is all this pain that happened, the loss of this working together aspect, is that too much to overcome that looks to be what the decision's about. And this would be like one foot in, one foot out kind of an energy where you're not 100% made up either way. You might even be flip-flopping back and forth. Like on Monday, it might be one answer. And by Thursday, it might be a totally different answer. So let's take a look at that. Tell me more about the two of Pentacles. Why it's like here's the Aries in October 23, please. That was weird. The chariot just came out, turned completely upright, and then flipped back down in the deck. The chariot was your first card so there's some again element of the will to overcome but then whoop, nope it doesn't come out let's get one more on this two of tentacles please this is feeling real start stop for me for you bottom of the deck six of cups again again scorpio energy of the past thinking about the past reminiscing about the past the good old days the way things used to be a person from the past that you have emotions for and you don't know what to do same same story you're grinding on it probably why you're going back and forth when i clarify that two of pentacles four of pentacles the empress and the tower four of pentacles capricorn energy again it's stability this would be physical stability financial stability more often than not though this is that energy of holding on tightly to something and not wanting to let go of it sometimes that can be in the sense of like i don't want to lose you or i don't want to let go of this connection or i don't want to let go of the history that we have together sometimes this can be much more stingy greedy type of an energy like it's all mine everything is mine and i'm not letting you have any of it doesn't look like that's what we're dealing with it looks like you have a choice to make between this person and some new opportunity is what it looks like and there's a piece of you that doesn't want to let go of either option i think but then we have the empress here this is the mother of the tarot deck this is a very prosperous nurtured nurturing like abundant energy uh. She's perpetually pregnant, so she's always giving birth to something. So in a love reading for me, she represents the birth of something new happening here. I do have like emperor energy, whether that's your person, and we're having an ending of a cycle with them, and then the beginning of some new cycle where there is a new connection being birthed. Or this could also be that there is an ending of some cycle between the two of you, and a new cycle begins where we can rebirth this connection it looks like it could go either direction at this point and you don't look very mind made up on which way you would like it to go either way we end with the tower on your side of things this is the collapse of some important structure in your life the collapse of a relationship the collapse of a belief system that you have maybe a belief about yourself or a belief about this person or a belief about the connection itself like whatever mental model you were operating from something happened to crack that all the pieces and now nothing's the same anymore this is very it feels chaotic it's like this back and forth there's this i want to hold on to this but then I want to birth this new thing 
or I want to hold on to it and I want to rebirth it. But then why is why is this here? Why is there this burden and tower on the side on either side of the recognizing something and moving forward? And why do you have a recognition that allows you forward movement, but then suddenly you're right back to uh, which which way do I go here? Which which path do I take? There's your mind needs calmed down. But again, there's the, the moon underlying all of this. There's something either that's an illusion being presented to you, or there's something lurking in the background that you don't know about. It, it is possible that this is fear, worry, and anxiety because you don't know what to do and you can't see the pattern. It could be any of those things. I hope we get more clarity once we get to their side. Let's scoot this over a little bit, Aries, and get some more rain. That's your energy in the connection in October 2023. Your person's energy in this connection is the Hierophant, the Emperor, and the Ten of Cups. Now, I will say, this looks pretty good over here. The Hierophant is the Taurus Major Arcana card. This is a card of commitment. It's about taking things to the next level, being in a committed relationship. This is a card of marriage, taking the relationship to the next level, being fully committed or in a committed connection. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. Why is that here for areas where I'm in the person of interest? Okay. Oh, okay. We got extra cards here all over the place i think this one was next the one that flipped there might be more than one in here i was a little bit out of control come here that's way too many i asked for three cards and they just gave me six you played by the rules the whole way now we're getting double bottom of the deck two of cups Cancer energy. Again, with the twos, the choice is the decision. This is a choice about a connection. There is some sort of committed connection here. It's a decision about commitment or a decision about the connection and commitment in the connection. And Pisces energy of the hanged man in progress being halted, things not moving forward, things being stuck, being at a dead stop here. This is like a decision that's like stuck for some reason and a decision about this commitment is stuck. Something's put the brakes on it, but there's still hope in the background here. There's still this energy of possibly the one for me. Then there's still that emotional detachment, that physical detachment, physically walking away. What the hell is going on here? Well, it put the brakes on it. And it's like it happened again. I'm getting it happened super fast. Just boom. Like, the hanged man does not put me in the mind of, like, fast-moving energy. But there's all this fast-moving energy out here. And it's almost like things were good until suddenly they weren't good. And out of nowhere, it's, like, locked the brakes up on this. And now there's been a detaching. And there's the devil again lurking underneath all of that. This is someone... There's something controlling someone here, whether or not they see it, whether or not they want to admit to it. There's something under the surface. This, this a lot of times comes from someone getting hurt, having some sort of pain that they never properly dealt with. They didn't address what really happened. They didn't get the message the pain was trying to give them. They probably just like pushed it aside and continued on like nothing happened, like push it down and repress it and pretend like it didn't happen but it did happen and it caused a pain and that pain has a message and when it doesn't get listened to it will eventually take control it's not going to just go away just because you hide it in the dark it's it's gonna come out i don't know exactly what it is though when i clarify the hierophant ace of swords Ace of Cups, the Chariot, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. I'm getting an idea now. 
these first two cards both being aces aces are new beginnings aces are opportunities this is the sword of truth the sword of victory the sword of clarity it's the sword you use to make a decision with to cut off the other options until there's one option left and that's how a decision gets made this is the sword you use to sever a relationship <clears throat> i've got commitment here and the shared energy that's also affecting this person is judgment and decision about the commitment. Almost like I'm cutting it off. That's the path I choose. It's dead and over. And then there's this Ace of Cups, this new beginning in love and emotions. This seems completely out of left field. Again, here we are with the Chariot, fastest energy in the deck. So again, this feels like very fast, like bullet coming out of a gun this happened late. Somebody flipped a switch and this person is, I'm out, see you. Got this new thing going on. Very next card, Seven of Swords, Aquarius Energy. Lying, cheating, stealing, deception, sneaking around behind someone's back, trying to get away with something that they shouldn't be trying to get away with. Now, that's not the only meaning to this card. <clears throat> Sometimes this can mean self-preservation. Like the reason the dude steals the swords is because he doesn't want those swords used against him. He doesn't want to be hurt by those swords, so he steals them to make sure that he can't get hurt. So it can represent self-preservation. Could be this person's in a commitment. They cut things off. They have this new beginning or this new thing that they think is going to bring them happiness. And they full speed ahead at that. And they don't want to get hurt for some reason. It doesn't really make sense to me. This feels like new person happens during commitment. I sever commitment haul ass with the new person full speed in that direction and probably do some sneaky deceptive stuff that I probably have regrets and remorse about at this stage. Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. This can be reconciliation energy, just like temperance, just like judgment can also represent that. There's three cards in the deck that to me can represent reconciliation. Even the star helps with that. So I've seen all of those cards it's possible that's what we have the will to overcome. It's possible that's what this fork in the road represents. That decision of do we put it back together. But this can also represent a third party love scenario. Because we do have three cups of love in the picture here. We have what could be sneaky deceptive behavior happening. Lying, cheating. We have a new beginning in love and emotions here. Looks like the great escape. Like, I'm okay, I'm moving full speed with this thing, and it doesn't matter if I have to be deceptive. That's kind of what I was picking up from this a betrayal, and I don't care what happens to you as long as I get what I want. Again, that person, very next card was the Emperor, which makes it a little hard to follow because you should be showing up as Aries, and that's in your energy. But with the Emperor being the card I'm going to get to next, central to their energy, it makes me think it's them. They're the one in control of all of this. They're the one that called all the shots here. Final clarifier for the Hierophant for your person Aries is the Queen of Cups. So again, there's you showing up with the love and emotions that you have for them. And they probably have for you too. But then there's that lid on the cup here. There's been some pain dealt out here. There's been some emotional loss dealt out here. wouldn't surprise me if they still get some love and emotions from you in some way or even if they still have love and emotions for you even though what looks like happened happens central to their energy again is the aries major arcana card the emperor taking control taking charge of a situation the person that calls the shots the person that makes the rules Tell me about the Emperor, please. Why is the Emperor here? It's also a Master Manifestor energy in terms of it's someone who knows what they want and they can make the plan to get it and execute the plan to get it. Oh, man. Let's get one more on her, please. I need you. Can't make that up. Lord. Bottom of the deck. The Star. This person has got some, some conflict happening here. I'm not following, dude. Like... It makes sense that I've seen the devil twice for this, though, because that's like, but but no, what you're saying isn't true. Can you not see in front of yourself? But that's kind of what this feels like. It's like, this is hope. This is healing. This is like, you're the one for me, and I want to heal this and have the hope that we can put it back together. Yeah, two of cups. There's the love connection here again. There's the choice about that. Strength. This has been difficult. I had the internal strength to make it through it. 
been forced to tap into it, but it's there. This can also be, though, about a person who is struggling to try and tame that beast inside themselves. Like that, that urge-driven thing that's just going in the background and them trying to contain that, trying to control that, and constantly fighting against a piece of themselves, trying to keep that contained. Nine of Pentacles, Singles Energy, Virgo Energy. This is like physically single. This is with you or without you. I'm single and abundant and prosperous in my own right. I'm self-sufficient. I don't need you to physically or financially take care of me. I got all that under control. Doesn't necessarily mean they want to be single. Could mean that this whole business of being single and without you has been very difficult. And again, this, the Two of Cups is a choice. It's a decision about a connection. It can just as easily be a choice between two different people. I do have Three Cups and Seven Swords and a new cup showing up during a commitment where there's love involved. Could be that this... I have the hope that I can heal what decision I made here. This has been a struggle, but it looks like either taking control of the situation or the person that has been in control and caused this mess to clarify the emperor i got king of pentacles that's where it gets iffy ten of swords and judgment again king of pentacles would be taurus or virgo energy this is like the husband figure the the person that's building their life around me this would be like the other half of the equation would be the queen of pentacles and they're the ones that do this three of pentacles thing of working together as equals to build the ten of pentacles they build and manage the Ten of Pentacles together. So the King and Queen of Pentacles would be like husband and wife or the people that live together and that are building a life together. And I've got your person showing up as kind of that other half of the equation here and being in control, probably being someone that's financially in control and, you know, building an empire of some kind, probably have their a good career or a business or something along those lines. But then we have this weird Ten of Swords. This is a swift ending to something. This is Gemini energy. A painful ending to something. Sometimes it's an ending you don't see coming. Hence the swords in the back. If you saw it coming, they'd be in your front. Sometimes this is an ending in betrayal. Hence the swords in the back. Stabbed in the back. Betrayed. That is directly tied to this person. And directly beside it is this ace of cups new beginning and love emotion so this could be again it could be that we there was an ending to this and now there's still this energy here of wanting to start back over at square one and fill the cup up but this looks much more like this person caused an ending through a betrayal very abruptly you didn't see this happening and then it happened and that's probably what led us to the judgment that we're seeing as the mutual point of interest the shared energy between the two of you that final decision is it dead and over or can we resurrect it right beside like it's it's touching the dead and over card it's right beside the chariot that will to overcome obstacles to get past the the problems and challenges that are in the way to overcome that what sucks is the part that there's nothing here to tell the story with is the shady, deceptive, lying, cheating type behavior and the third cup of love and still having love here. That's probably why we got sadness, remorse, regrets. I got final card for your person, Aries, is the Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy. This is everyone's goal in terms of love and emotions and relationships. This is that happily ever after this is the happy fairy tale love connection that we all want. This is two people who are emotionally happy and have love for themselves coming together into union and making a very happy family, happy couple, like true love. There is a negative side to this, and the negative side to this, and most readers are never going to tell you, is that fairy tale component of this it's like we all want this happily ever after and we all want to believe that our relationship is that happily ever after it's that storybook love that everyone dreams about we all want to believe that our connection is that but that be that belief or the the need to believe it the desire to buy into that 
you know, want it so bad will cause us to miss things. It'll cause us to not see stuff that is blatantly there. We'll sweep things under the rug and pretend like it didn't happen. And because if we accept those things as being real, then this can't be real. And that's where you get to these tower moments where this belief that I had and this this Ten of Cups fairy tale thing that I wanted to believe in, now something has happened to shatter that belief, and I can't hold that same level of belief anymore. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Why is that catered for Aries, Roman, and Pursuit of Interest? Let's, let's just be good news, please. I'm so tired of having negative readings all the time, and... I try not to get frustrated with it because, like, common sense should tell me that people aren't really going to come to me when things are going great. They're going to come to me. Like, if your relationship's going awesome, you have no need for watching tarot readings and getting guidance and insight as to what's going on because you already know. So, I guess it makes sense that this happens a lot. But bottom of the deck here, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy of grinding on it, like being stuck in their head and thinking about it over and over again to the point that it's like driving them nuts this is overthinking something just going in circles this is a self-imposed mental prison of their own thoughts <clears throat> and six of cups scorpio energy again of the past so this tells me there is again this is like the third time or so i've seen this card there is history between the two of you here and they're stuck in their head reminiscing about the past and thinking about the past and thinking about the way it was when we were happy and in love but then there's that reference to the decision again look decision point is the overall energy the shared energy is the final decision there's a decision over here where you're back and forth and I've seen decision over and over and over again. They made a decision. There's a decision here to end it again. And now here's Libra energy of the Two of Swords. A decision that needs to be made, only it hasn't been made yet. This is maybe sometimes someone doesn't have enough information or they feel like they don't have enough information to actually decide. There's something that they don't see and it's preventing them from deciding. Sometimes this is a case of a person doesn't want to see something they have the blinders on and they're refusing to lay a sword down and take the blinders off so they can see what they're doing there's something they don't want to see that they don't want to look at and that could be preventing a decision also we did see the moon and i said it's possible there's something being hidden in the dark from you moon is prevalent in the background of this card this could be someone has pulled the blinders over you and deceived you in some way i had to have a reference to a betrayal here and here and lying here so it's possible that's gone on some decision needs to be made and hasn't been made about forward movement in terms of love and emotions the knight of cups is actions toward love and emotions like coming forward with a romantic offer a romantic gesture trying to move forward in a love offer or a love connection in some way trying to advance that and your person not sure what to do stuck in their head about the past and still hasn't decided to move forward or what what the hell is going on here when i clarify the ten of cups knight of swords nine of swords six of pentacles I want to see swords and I've gotten swords in every column for them I got swords in your first column and that was it but I've got it in one and two in this first column ten of swords nine and the knight this knight of swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck this is the third fastest energy in the deck you got the chariot which we've seen in both decks we've seen the eight of wands the second fastest this is the third fastest energy this is rushing forward and taking some rapid, decisive action. This is not the person who comes rushing forward and then stops to think about what do I do and let's read the instruction manual and figure all this out in advance. This is the person who just very abruptly takes action, very like spontaneous, very impulsive. They just rush in, they take the action, and they leave. They don't think about it first. They don't think about it while they're doing it. They just do it and they leave and they don't think about it until after it's already done that's tied again to your person and the swift decision that they made 
that decision that they made is tied directly to commitment, but it's also tied directly to a new cup of love. And that's tied to, again, very fast forward moving energy with lies and third cup of love tied to that. Looks like your person had a great connection and did something without thinking about it. Looks like they probably have some level of regrets about that and some level of desire to put this back together. I've seen them stuck in their head grinding on it and thinking about the past and being unable to decide about moving forward. Maybe it's not their decision on whether or not this is going to move forward. Maybe it's entirely your decision on whether you accept them back or not. And you're undecided about that because this whole this whole birth of something new bullshit, that changed everything for me. And now your person is in this nine of swords, Gemini energy of fear, worry, and anxiety. This is thinking about something. It's going even farther than this. And it's going beyond just thinking about it on a loop. This is thinking about it on a loop with so much fear and worry and anxiety behind their thinking that is starting to physically manifest itself, physically stress them out. This is sleepless nights. This is, I can't eat. I can't concentrate on what I'm doing. This is mental anguish. And it's directly beside this swift, painful ending that you didn't see coming, which is directly beside this new cup of love here. So it looks like your person is like, now that it's over and done, and they've had time to think about what they did, now they're freaking out. It's like, oh, what have I done here? What have I done here? And now there's the six pentacles here. This is Taurus energy. This is a card of balance. This is balance the connection back out it's generosity it's reciprocity like you scratch my back i scratch your back you take care of me i take care of you this is equal give and take kind of an energy so this looks like your person trying to balance the judgment back out balance things back out on the other side of that is that will to overcome the obstacles and challenges and it's weird again the only thing i have here that doesn't have anything beside it to continue the story is the lying, deception, the sneaking around, the third party, and then the love that they still have for you or that you still have for them. There's love still present here. Another meaning to the Six of Pentacles, besides just trying to balance things out, is it can represent the merchant, meaning your person giving to two people in the physical sense, meaning like they were in a commitment with you, and then this new cup showed up. That could even be what this physical opportunity presenting itself is someone had a physical opportunity to get their own personal happiness and wish fulfillment and get their jollies and that could be the thing that ended the cycle between the two of you and started this whole new cycle you've been going through is you recognizing that's what happened and likewise it could also be they're trying to present you with an opportunity to get this all back together and you're still i don't know about that because is this going to be balanced? Is this going to be equal give and take? Or am I going to have to deal with this you giving to somebody behind my back again thing? Now, if you still have questions you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appear on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Aries love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.